Missile Command was released in the arcade in 1980, and one year later it was ported to the Atari 2600. You assume the role of a missile defense commander, whose job it is to shoot down enemy missiles to protect the six cities at the bottom of the screen. You control a crosshair, represented by a dash, freely around the screen to shoot down the missiles. The trick is to time your shot so that you target where the missiles are going, rather than where they are at the moment. Because if you aim directly at the missiles, you could end up shooting behind them. You don't have to make a direct hit to take them out either. There'll be an explosion wherever your shot lands, and if the missile crosses into it, then it'll be destroyed. The missiles leave behind a trail that makes it easier for you to determine where they're going to go. You'll get 30 defense missiles. The missile base will indicate how many you have left, showing only 10 at a time before it automatically reloads. So keep your eye on it and remember how many rounds of ammo you have left. If you use up all 30 shots, then you have no choice but to sit there with your thumb up your ass and pray that the missiles don't land on any of your cities. It's an odd feeling of helplessness while still knowing you can survive. Like I said, the six cities are what you're protecting. Once they're all gone, the game is over. You'll also want to protect the missile base, because if that gets hit, you'll lose all the missiles that are loaded up. There are ballistic missiles, which are the regular missiles you'll see through most of the game. And then there are these cruise missiles that fall faster and don't have a trail behind them to guide you to their destination. There are two types of these cruise missiles. The dumb cruise missiles that fall on a constant path, and smart cruise missiles which try to evade your defense missiles. After you take out a good chunk of these things, you'll move on to the next wave, and each one increases the speed of enemy attacks. There's also a two-player mode that utilizes all game variations. The two players will alternate turns between waves. You'll score points for each missile you destroy, and get bonus points for how much ammo you've conserved, and how many cities you've saved. After 10,000 points, you'll get a bonus city if you've lost one, and even if you didn't, you'll still get a reserve for the next time you do. The A and B difficulty switch will toggle the speed of your crosshair, in case you want a steeper challenge. And there are also 17 game variations that changes the wave you start at. There's also a children's mode for the young and inexperienced. The game is great, not only because it's fun to blow shit up, but there's also strategic elements to it. You have to take into consideration which missiles to go after, based on how close they are, which cities you need to protect, and you also have to consider how much ammo you have, and how much you want to use in a given sequence. It brings a lot of depth to the game without being too complex. It's a perfect balance of arcade and simulation. And considering this is an Atari port of an arcade favorite, I'd say they did a pretty damn good job with it.